Warning, what you are about to see is a really crusty, dusty person. You have been warned. <laughs> hey guys. So I think it is totally safe to say that I'm not thriving. I had a bunch of plans today. I was so excited. My friend and I were gonna go out and um, go to Houston and meet a really cool music producer um, because I've been wanting to produce music for a long time and my friend does music as well. So we were gonna do it together. It was gonna be really fun. And then I was gonna go see a show tonight with um, another group of friends. And then I was gonna have a sleepover with m one of my other friends. And then the next day I was gonna get up really early and go to the sunrise with some other friends and then do a whole Bunch of fun stuff and then my dad was gonna cook breakfast and then we're gonna go to another show tomorrow <coughs> um but i'm sick <coughs> Basically, let me explain. My whole family have been sick for like four days. And here's the thing, guys, like I don't get sick. So when I started getting a sore throat, I was so shocked and petrified because I don't get sick. It's been really, really, really awful. I feel disabled and it's really hard to do anything productive. Just an awful feeling. And that's why I look so gross. I'm losing color because I keep not wanting to eat because food just looks yucky to me. Um, I like literally never get sick. There's so so much um like what's the word like sinuses is that the right word like in my head that my head hurts so bad and my voice sounds so weird it, it was definitely worse yesterday anyways i decided to vlog today because i was supposed to you know film all the fun things i was gonna be doing but instead we're doing this yeah so since i feel like a crusty dusty human what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna shower do my makeup get coffee and pull myself together because i'm tired of feeling like a healthy helpless sick person because this is just not acceptable i haven't brushed my hair yet i see one hate comment about the way that i look i will literally block you from my channel um anyways last night i made a really dumb decision didn't feel like i was too sick so i went to both voice lesson and workout because every thursday night i have voice lesson and workout um and that was a really bad idea because i ended up getting super lightheaded during my voice warm-ups and it did not feel too great and then when i started working out i got really dizzy so i ended up just sitting down um i think i should have i probably would be a little bit better today if i didn't do both those things so that was great. I need to put on the wash. I need to like wash my bedding and stuff because there's like crackles of just gross stuff. Ugh. See you after my shower. Okay, I already feel 10 times better. Okay, I already feel much, much better, as I knew I would. Small announcement real quick. I used to be posting three times a week. I moved down to two. I just felt like it was too much to be able to do three videos a week because I was posting Sunday, Saturdays, and Thursdays, and I think quality over quantity is like a really big thing, and um, I think three videos was just way too much. So I have been seeing a bunch of TikToks on like what season color are you, what skin type are you, and a lot of stuff like that. And so basically there's summer, spring, winter, fall, obviously, because those are the seasons. And you're the warm toned or cool toned. Wait. Yeah, warm tone or cool tone. And so I did a lot of research and I realized that I'm winter, which is really weird. I totally would have thought I was like summer or something. So winter is basically if you have naturally dark hair, you have lighter skin and you have cool toned skin. Apparently lipstick is a huge thing. Know how with some lipsticks, if you put them on, you feel like you need to put on more makeup to kind of even out the, the weird uncomfortableness of the lipstick. But then there's also some lipsticks that if you put them on and you're not even wearing makeup, it just makes you look better. It doesn't make you need to put on a bunch of makeup to even out the color. I've always felt that way about this color lipstick. This color is also a part of the winter color palette, so just really cool. So I have to do a brand deal. I am working for this thing called Favor, which is a delivery service, and I'm doing TikToks on it, and it's actually one of the best brand deals I've ever done because it's super helpful. Like, it's a genuine thing that I can't believe exists, and I think it's so cool. It's basically like, it's kind of like DoorDash or Uber Eats or something like that. You basically just have them deliver you. You can have coffee, you could do random things from the store, and face masks, and like Target stuff, like really anywhere. So I'm going to film my brand deal, and I'm gonna get a coffee, and 
and probably like face mask and medicine or something like that for me. Okay, so I am waiting on my favorite delivery. I want to do the Myers Briggs personality test. So I'm really interested in like assessments, personality stuff, Enneagram, all the types of things. I'm pretty sure I know my Myers Briggs. I'm pretty sure I'm an ESTJ, but I thought it'd just be fun to take the test because I used to take the test a lot and I always got the same. So I just want to take it again because it's been a while. Okay, take the test. Regularly make new friends. Hmm. I mean, I've had the same friends like for a long time, but like I know how to make new friends. So I'm gonna say agree. And a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. Mm, no. Seeing other people cry can make you feel like you want to cry too. Yes. You have to make a backup plan for a backup plan. Mm, yes. Usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. Yes, I'm very good at that. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people. Disagree. You prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. Agree. You're sentimental. Nope. I'm not sentimental at all. Um, you like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. Yes. You rarely feel insecure. Mm, medium. You avoid making phone calls. Disagree. That's kind of random. You have to spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Disagree. Um, in your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and initiates activities. Agree. You're still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. Mm, disagree. Well, maybe agree a little bit. So for those who don't know, I'll explain like all these different things. Um, extroverted versus introverted. I'm 70% extroverted, which is very true. Um, energy. So observe it. What? That's the highest I've ever gotten of observant what so observant is like more details and <laughs> observant intuitive is more like an overall vibe a summary a feeling um, and using your intuition thinking and feeling so thinking you kind of just like think things through you're a little more insensitive but you um, can kind of do things that you don't feel like doing feeling is like being a little more soft a little more sentimental judging I believe is like the more organized like scheduled kind of uptight um, prospecting is open and spontaneous and a little more messy. You guys don't understand how excited I am for my coffee to get here. Also, I have to put on a hoodie because I'm freezing. So right now we're actually getting we're getting the whole entire apartment completely exterminated. Is that the right term? Every summer when it starts to get hot, the our both our houses start filling up with Bugs. We live in the middle of a forest, so it makes sense. And the second that we get it um, touched up every like new summer, it's like fine for the rest of the year. But because of that, it's still kind of messy because we have to take all this stuff out of the countertops and you know, he has to like deep clean every single one and it's been a big process. My clean freak self is kind of freaking out. I got my coffee. I think this is something different than I ordered, but it's still pretty good. This um, cheese and fruit box is probably one of the best things I've ever had. I always get it every time I need food from Starbucks. It's so good. I haven't been able to eat very much, and I feel like this is a very light meal to eat, so. Okay, it's a little later. We're in our living room. <laughs> We're in our living room. Fun fact, the living room, we still have our Christmas tree up. But anyways, we're playing the Wii U, and Matthew's here. I'm winning! Matt's right our now. brother. Yeah, you press A to pass the ball. Or the hockey. It's not working. Wait, my watch Mark out, I'm winning. Go! That's not fair, Matthew. Thank you! Huh? Oh, 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 yes! 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 Okay, I'm gonna put my bed sheets back on. I'm gonna take a nap. I think I'm getting better, but I need sleep. Good night. Hey guys, so funny story. I fell asleep after my nap earlier, and then I woke up and it's like nine o'clock. <laughs> So I slept for a really long time and I feel amazing. I'm not kidding. I think I'm like almost not sick. I just have a little bit of a cough, but I feel really good. I braided my hair too, so I'm feeling pretty slick about that. We're gonna be back to regular programming because now I don't really feel bad. I think once I go to sleep tonight, which will be hard because I slept all day, but once I go to sleep tonight, I think I'll wake up tomorrow and be a new fresh butterfly. So <laughs> you guys have seen me at my worst and you have seen me at my best. So um, anyways, see y'all in tomorrow's video.